this mindfulness of these four great elements earth element water element wind element and heat element so now we know that we have the self image right sometimes for the beauty that we have we have this self image right i'm like this i'm a person like this i'm a beautiful person eh? and we build this self image inside us right and eh? if some so what happens to the self image if someone says you look ugly today <laughs> what will happen <laughs> <laughs> and if you suppose next time when you look at yourself in the mirror you will see gray hair what will happen or wrinkled skin or there's a pimple or a your big spot in your face <laughs> hmm? you will feel bad right because of this self image so this mindfulness of these four great elements it's a really good meditation to remove that self image to really see what's in this body so now in this meditation we are not going to think about the external things we are going to think about this body so he says this body is created by these four great elements everything actually all these things are created by this all these things have these four great elements in them the heat element then there's the wind element water element and the earth element so he says uh, the things that trans transforms into soil the pali word is patavi means the earth element so we have that things that are transforms into soil right now the you now we had all, we all i think we all had hair cuts right so where are where's that hair now where is that here it all has transformed into this earth element the skin that we shed the skin right what happens to those things it's all transforms into this earth element so in this body we have this earth element and all we people don't think like this right now is it negative thinking what do you think <laughs> thinking like this no it's not negative thinking it's positive actually because we don't because we don't see this because we don't see this true nature of this body that's why we mentally suffer right but if you know okay, these are things that i have in the body and these are subject to change you will not cultivate defilements because of your body some people they cultivate defilements because of the youth right the attachment to the youth that they have mm-hmm. defilements are rising there yeah. because they don't think that they are subject to grow old and this life that we have some people think that they never die right <laughs> <laughs> some act like that right yeah. but if you are mindful this body is a thing that is always changing it will die it, it decays then those defilements will not arise in you so this is a really good meditation to practice so he says there are things that transforms into soil those are pata means the earth element hair skin fingernails those things then he says things that dissolves are apo dhatu apo means what element so we have things that dissolves in water right blood urine saliva all this all dissolves in water that's the air element no no i was thinking this is a good exercise to practice patience <laughs> we, we have to thank that airport <laughs> <laughs> it's helping us to develop this patience in us right see a good thing right so we have this apo dhatu also means water element what is do we have in our body we have 
the wind element as well right? we breathe in exhale as uh, what do you call air inside us right so we have this uh vayo dhatu means the air element and things with the nature of warmth are tejo dhatu means the heat element we have heat inside us right that is this heat element so we are created by these four great elements now to do this meditation he gives a simile this is how we have to do this meditation the simile is okay the simile is a butcher kills a cow so a butcher kills a cow separates cuts of meat and sets up a stall at a crossroad so he will kill a cow and he will cut the meat and keep it in a stall now when he is selling does he say i'm going to sell the cow does he have that mindset so are we going to stall and are we going to buy a cow people no right they are going to buy meat and the butcher is selling meat so he says this butcher does not have the sense of selling a cow he has the sense of selling meat the buyer of meat have no sense of they are buying a cow they have the sense of either buying they will think i am buying meat so he says our task is to see these elements separately as the separate cuts of a meat in a butcher's stall and normally we will take this whole body right that's why lust arises in us if you see a nice person we'll take the whole image right suppose that nice person will remove a piece of skin and give it to you hey, you can this is my skin you like me keep it with you <laughs> what will happen we will we will keep we will we keep it with us oh, this uh, skin i'm going to keep it with me suppose that person will give you a tooth oh, this is mine keep it with you the hair <laughs> no right the reason we are looking at object and we are taking the whole picture here what we are doing is we are separating this body into four parts earth element water element wind element and air element and we are looking at this parts this hair belongs to earth element so when you do this meditation you will see there are four great elements in there there's nothing to be proud about this <laughs> <laughs> yes there are only these four great elements so there's nothing to be proud so if you hear says separately look at these parts in the body as this parts of elements that will help you to remove the what you call this self image the attachment that you have to this body so shall we do this meditation so i will guide you through the meditation so this is how you all have to think when you are meditating and now remember now this meditation so there's no need to sit on a cushion and do while doing this walking meditation you can think about this body parts this is what i have in my body so now now we will just sit and try to do this so i will guide you through the meditation i'm not sure whether you all will hear me behind <laughs> <laughs> so find a very med- comfortable meditation posture close your eyes slightly and bring your attention 
to the present moment with a calm mind look at your sitting posture now pay close attention to your body and try to think in this way the hair in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil on the earth therefore the hair is of the earth element the body hair in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth therefore the body hair is of the earth element the nails in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil on the of the earth therefore the nails are of the earth element the teeth in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth therefore the nails are of the earth element the teeth in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth therefore the teeth are of the earth element the skin in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth therefore the skin is of the earth element the bones in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth therefore the bones are of the earth element the bone marrow in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth 
Therefore, the bone marrow is of the earth element. The kidneys in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the kidneys are of the earth element. The heart in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the heart is of the earth element. The liver in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the liver is of the earth element. The lungs are in this body, will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the lungs are of the earth element. The small intestines in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the small intestines is of the earth element. The large intestines in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, the large intestines is of the earth element. The feces in this body will gradually decay and transform into soil of the earth. Therefore, it is of the earth element. All these things have the nature of transforming into soil. All these things are of the earth element. And there are things in this body that dissolves. The flame in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, flame is of the water element. The pus in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, pus in this 
is of the water element. The blood in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, blood is of the water element. The sweat in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, sweat is of the water element. The fat in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, fat is of the water element. The tears in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, tears are of the water element. The mucus in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, mucus is of the water element. The saliva in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, saliva is of the water element. The urine in this body dissolves in water and vanishes. Therefore, it is of the water element. All these things have the nature of dissolving in water. All these things are of the water element. There is also heat in this body. The body is created with that heat. When that heat increases, we sweat and becomes feverish. When food and drinks enters this body, the heat aids digestion of its nutrients. This happens by the heat element. It also deteriorates the body until it is destroyed completely. All these things are impermanent things. This body has things that dissipate in the wind. Air we breathe in also dissipates with the wind. Air that we breathe out is also is of the same nature. This air that we inhale and exhale also dissipates 
with the wind. There is also air that moves through the body. Therefore, this is of the wind element. All these things are impermanent things. All these things are impermanent things. Now try to think the think about this. Now try to think about these things, these four great elements silently.